नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर डिजाइन अ डी एफ ए फॉर स्ट्रिंग स्टार्टिंग विथ स्ट्रिंग स्टार्टिंग with ab first thing starting with ab first i will do a q0 q0 on seeing a a will go to q1 q1 on seeing a b will go to q2 q2 will be my final state my language will be simply ab it can be a b b it can be a b a and so on up so if it sees a b then i go to the non final state that is i go to the q3 state q3 state any number of a's and b's it will remain in the q3 state q1 on seeing a a q1 on seeing a a will go to the q3 state because i will see two a's which is not acceptable because string should have a a followed by a b then in q2 i can see any number of a's and b's because i have already seen a ab and string should start with a ab next question number 5 string ends with ab ends with A B design a DFA for a string which ends with A B. So Q zero language will be simply A B B A B A A B and so on. Q zero Q zero on seeing a A will go to the Q one state. Q one on seeing a B will go to the Q two state. Up. Now I told you for a DFA. Q zero should have two inputs. If there is over alphabet A B, then both the inputs for A and B there should be a transition. Q zero and A the transition is going to Q one. Q zero on B we have not shown. So on B it will loop over because it should string should end with A B. So for B, Q zero on B will be remaining in Q zero and it will wait for A and B to occur. Up. Next. Q1 on B goes to Q2. Q1 on A. Q1 on A will be a self loop because I've already seen a A. Again, I see a A. Then I see a B. A B. This is valid. Then in Q2, if I see a A in Q two if I see a A then I need to see a A the a B so I go here because the next transition is B in Q two if I see a B then it is A B B this is not valid I need to see a A followed by a B. So in Q two, if I see a B, I go to Q zero because I have to see a A followed by a B. This was for string ending with A B. D F A for string ending with A B. Question six is D F A for string. Containing A B. D F A for string containing A B. Q zero. A. Q one. B. Q two. If there is a B, I will loop over because I will find the A and the B. In Q one, if I find the A again, I will loop over because I need a B now. Because I need a B containing A B means I need a B. In Q two, I will again loop over if I see a A or a B because I have already seen a A B. 
so it is as it is going to go in the final state for dfa for string not containing ab the next question is dfa for string not containing ab simply the final states will become non final and the non final will become final so your q0 will become your final state q1 will become the final state and q2 which was a final state will become a non final state uh, else all the transitions will remain as it is uh,